Good morning everyone. Studies or pressure? What do you want your children to select? Me, Kushi Thakkar, as a student, has already experienced this problem and I'm still facing it. Now, let's go straight to the point that by what are the kids getting pressurized? Firstly, in few cases, kids are pressurized by the teaching methods of school. They hardly give any fun activities to understand concepts. Instead, they make students write continuously and expect kids to memorize even if the concepts are not clear. Hence, creativity is lost. I wish I could fit a memory card into my brain. Mostly, 87% of the mothers want the educational system to change. They do not understand the system will never change by just complaining. It is as simple as when a teacher tells students only know how to lick their pencils. So, parental pressure should also come to an end so that kids can follow his or her passion. Even a pressure cooker can burst. We are just kids. <laughs> then comes homework. One of the most dreadful things in this world for a kid. Through my observation, I realized few schools give an abundance of homework and less work was done in school. Yes, I understand. Homework helps us to revise concepts. But if given a lot, it can become a nightmare for kids. We should have interactive and innovative chart works, worksheets on current affairs, so we get information and it is interesting, not a burden. This way we can have fun and feel interested while studying. I always feel kids should be given a chance to recognize their passion and interest in different things. It is not working this way. Hence, these are few effects kids go through due to the pressure they feel. Depression, anxiety, they feel to leave the house, to slap themselves. Sometimes they get suicidal tendencies and the list is never ending. We all tell kids are the future, but with the pressure felt, the future can become a circus. Maggie Andrin Pocock was dyslexic and went through a lot of pressure. Now, she's a space scientist and science educator. She is a true inspiration. Kids need to balance their studies and play and realize there is no gain without pain. I had done a survey of 20 kids from 6th grade and the summation was 35% come in depression. 80% feel uncomfortable with the method of teaching and 10% feel they are given a lot of homework. So even if really less kids come in depression, that does not mean it will not increase and we need to prevent this. So I hope the information from my point of view is helpful in resolving this issue. In the end, remember, talent and skills is all that matters. Thank you.